Hello everyone and once again welcome to WS Crypto Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video of Facebook ad series, we are basically going to talk about the landing pages. So guys, as you can see on my laptop screen, we are going to discuss different key points which are mentioned over here. So we'll be starting with what are the landing pages, the basic definitions, what is the difference between landing pages and a website. So this is one of the most common question which uh, which we come across and also very confusing one that what is basically a difference between a landing page and a website so that is what we will be discussing in this particular video also again we will talk about the concepts of landing pages how can we create landing pages and what are the different softwares that can help us in creating landing pages what are the different approaches of creating landing pages and what are the different elements which should be there on landing page whenever we talk about the concepts of landing pages or how we should audit our landing page and what are the different elements that we should uh, make sure that these elements are present over there in our landing pages right so let's begin this thing and uh, and uh, see how can we actually do all these things so as you can see when we talk about the basic difference between a website and a landing page landing page actually does not contain confusing elements there is there is influencing approach which means that every element on the landing page convinces the users to something right? it's not informational when we talk about the blogs when we talk about the website it, these things are basically informational informational approach is there user searches for anything and then they come on our website or or then they come on our blog and we provide them some information so informational approach is there with the websites but on the landing pages we do not have any kind of informational approach we have basically convincing approach where we are convincing the visitor through our uh, copy right what we have written on the landing page through our copywriting skills right or through our copywriting elements or uh, different elements which are present over there in the form of uh, FOMO elements or they can be social proof or they can be like um, a testimonials whatever it can be we are basically con convincing our visitor so landing page does not contains any confusing elements it's it's plain and simple with no header no footer right landing pages do not have any header and footer that makes it very unique and there is influencing approach or there is convincing approach that is what i just told you whereas website contains so many navigation menus and there is a uh, informational approach so if we come over here on chrome you can see we have a website over here this one is basically a website right as you can see over here this one is basically a website but if we go over here like uh, this one let us let us find one landing page over here you can see this one is basically a landing page where we are not having any menus right landing pages do not have any menus or do not have very uh, confusing kind of uh, layout it's a simple page right landing page is a very simple page where basically you are driving traffic and you are convincing that traffic to do something valuable over here right or do any kind of a transaction over here this is what the landing page are actually made for right so we have uh, different landing pages also over here as you can see this one is again a landing page where we are having a helpline number a simple heading and then we are having a form over here we have a complete information about the courses over here and you, as you can see we do not have any like uh, we do not have any footer over here or we do not have any uh, header over here where, where we are having different navigational menus or navigational elements right so all these things are missing from this particular page which makes it as a landing page it's a web page yes it's a web page but it's a landing page but here when we see this particular example you can see it has other elements also so if you are bringing anyone over here on this landing page from ads what are the chances that they either they will convert over here right they will convert over here, they will fill this form or they will go on any other page also but our main objective was to bring traffic on this particular page and to convert them from here only right our main objective was not to divert them on other pages of the website our main objective was to bring them here and make them do the conversion over here only this was our main target right so we do not want any kind of distractions when we create landing pages so we avoid creating headers and navigation menus in the landing pages and also we do not want to create footer and we do not want to fill it with like different links right so this is the thing that we have to avoid while creating the landing page right so now we know the basic difference between the landing page and website and uh, now the question comes that what are the different sources through which we actually can create a landing page so if we are not developer and you want to create a landing page suppose a client comes to you and they say that okay we want to give you a project for running facebook ad then in some of the cases there might be a case where uh, it is required that you should create a landing page also right or it is there in the job description that you should create a landing page also then you should know that what are the different 
approaches or what are different sources through which we can actually create landing pages so as you can see uh, there are different ways through which we can actually create a landing page as you can see over here we can use uh, web development skills so if you know html css javascript you can create a basic landing page or if you have anyone in your team like developer then they can assist you in creating uh, this uh, landing page using web development right then we have wordpress and we can use very user friendly page builder plugins to create uh, to create landing pages right so we can use cms like wordpress and then we can use page builders like elementor there are like hundreds and hundreds of page builders available in the market but right now i am telling you one of the very famous and very convenient uh, uh, page builder that is elementor you can use elementor to create uh, create landing pages beautiful landing pages on your wordpress website then there are paid landing page creation tools also but they are very costly and those landing page creation tools are like click funnels and lead funnels and there are many more like uh, groove funnels so i'm just showing you right so you can see uh, this is clickfunnels.com you can go to clickfunnels.com over here and and this is the tool which will help you in creating the beautiful landing pages along with the different analytics and everything so this particular tool will help you in creating the landing pages funnel right landing pages funnel but it is again very costly so if you are a beginner i will never recommend you to go for click funnels or something like that i will recommend you to go for wordpress and elementor that is and that will basically enhance your skills also and you'll know that how i am going to place different elements on our landing page right so coming back to our ppt now we have explored these three options which are basically like web development skills if you have web development skills you can uh, use those skills to create a landing page or you can use or word famous cms like wordpress and elementor to create landing pages and you can also have the option of uh, going with these paid uh, page creation landing page creation tools which i actually i do not recommend right so the concept of landing page right so we can use landing page for two purposes either we can generate leads through the landing pages or we can uh, do the sales through landing page so whenever we talk about uh, doing sales it's kind of an e-commerce landing page and on that particular landing page what can what we can do is we can basically place our product or service we have, which we actually want to sell right i'm not only restricted to product or tangible thing when i'm talking about sales it can be for a software also it can be for a digital product also it can be for a course also for online course also so whenever whenever we want to use landing page uh, for the purpose of sale we can also have different elements like we can do upsell over there we can do cross sell over there or we can do remarketing of those things right that is that is what we can do sometimes it is also required that we want to generate maximum leads through our landing page for that particular purpose what we have to do is we have to use that basic trick right that basic evergreen trick of creating a lead magnet and then giving it to your audience for free in return of their phone number email or whatever you want to have in the form of lead right uh, i have taken an example of uh, business uh, like tuition classes over here so you can create a lead magnet video tutorials kind of uh, free lectures kind of free pdf free formula guide or anything right tips tricks whatever whatever comes there in your business nature you can use that thing which is basically valuable one thing you have to make sure that your lead magnet should be valuable it, it should be valuable as your paid content so for this particular thing what you have to do is you have to create a lead magnet so you have to set a landing page from where you will capture the leads then you have to also create the thank you page right so uh, this is a kind of a small lead generation funnel for you and the the email that you will capture from here you will nurture those emails or you will nurture those contacts for future sales so these are the two main concepts for which we basically create our landing pages and after the creation of the landing pages we basically run ads we basically run facebook ads and we drive traffic on these landing pages which serve different purposes now when we talk about the concept of uh, uh, landing page funnels because it's again a very uh, common term many of the time people ask us well, what is landing page funnel see if you are creating different landing pages and if, and if you are connecting them in a flow right so that user enters into one side and exits from one side after making the conversion or user lands on one page and then there is a series of steps which he or she follows and then makes a conversion that is basically a funnel right that is basically a funnel and whenever that is a collection of different web pages that is basically called as landing page funnel so as you can see over here we have a sales page over here then we have uh, like uh, weight loss products over here and we have opt-in option over here right so we have two options at the sale pages either a user can go to this weight loss product option and we uh, and user can purchase any product from here or we can we can do an 
upsell over there and the second option is opt-in right so there are two options at this sales page now this is basically a small funnel if user does the opt-in we we have to nurture it right for the sales again and if he or she makes a sales over here then we have to follow the concepts of upsell or cross sell so landing page funnels are basically the group of landing pages itself now you can see there is another uh, another example of landing page funnel and you can see there are like different web pages which represents different uh, uh, different touch points of users uh, who is going to make a conversion right so you can see a, a user enters onto our product page and they go to our checkout page then there is upsell page then there is upsell to page and if they finalize their transaction then the thank you page comes into picture right so this is how it actually works and this is what we call as landing page funnel so this is the landing page funnel, and we want a hundred percent conversion from here to here which is practically impossible it, it cannot happen if you think hundred persons who actually visited on our product page are going to purchase right so it is not practical but we make we try to put efforts to to get as much as conversions we can so if we have like 100 visitors on our landing page or on our entry page we want at least 10 5 or 4 or 3 visitors to convert that is very standard right that is very standard and it is like uh, it's a standard conversion rate of 3% 2% 4% 5% it actually depends on the nature of the product also nature of the service also and also on the ticket size of the product and service so there are a lot of variables which also uh, comes into consideration when we talk about the concepts of landing pages funnels conversions conversion rates conversion rates optimization everything now let me also talk about some of the important elements that you should uh, put on your landing page first one is the copywriting you cannot ignore copywriting because because on your landing page it is your content it is your copywriting skill that is going to help you right there are a lot of chat system you can follow talk to chat system you can you can go with the social proof you can use any fomo right that is fear of missing out element kind of a testimonial or trust related elements on your web page you can also implement an exit pop-up on the landing page which is basically for the desktop version you can put a toll free number that will basically encourage people to call you you can go for some browser related notifications so all these things are again very important these are some of the things that you can use uh, as elements on your landing page again the copywriting is one of the very important thing that you cannot ignore and you have to invest your money and time both on the copywriting this is like 60 to 70 percent of something which is important there on your landing page right so guys that's it that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye